Hey everybody, so I have a great opportunity to show you and talk to you a little bit about saddle fitting. So I need to find a, ho a saddle for my horse and um, there's a local saddle maker that has let me take a saddle home so I can try it on my horse. So I'm going to show you a little bit of some of the things that I look for whenever I am fitting a saddle to a horse. I do not claim to be an expert saddle fitter of any sort, of any kind, um, but I do know enough information about it to be able to tell does a saddle fit or not. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I put the saddle on the horse without the pad. This allows me to see what the shape is of the saddle and how it sits on my horse's back without the influence of a pad. So looking at it here, I like how it sits pretty level. You can see how the wither, the seat, and the lumbar are in. There's a quick visual of where the wither, the seat, and the lumbar are are in the same general plane. Um, it has a little bit of like an uphill look to it, which is better than a downhill look. Um, so at the naked eye, I kind of like how it's sitting. However, when you get a little closer, you can see that there's no pad underneath here, but there is no room right here. I cannot get my fingers in there hardly at all. So I know for a fact that this is going to pinch my horse. Even if I take, even if I build this up on a pad, you still can't change the shape of this saddle and what the shape of this tree is in here and how much width it has and how that's affecting my horse. So it's, I can't even fit my hand in there. I would love to be able to fit my hand in there. And then when you come down here to the middle, you can see it's kind of tight right here. Not too bad, a little bit tight in this area, but it got a little bit more breathing room in here so my hand can get in there more easily. And then right here, we're pinching right here as well. So I'd also say this saddle's a little bit long for my horse as well, but we got a pinch there. So now let's go check out the other side. Okay, so same thing, looking at it from the side. I mean, it, it sits, it's not out of balance. It's not like pinching really hard right here and really off of him right here or pinching here and a lot of space there. It's a nice even connection, I will say that but I can tell that there's just no room for the shoulder to move here because my horse is standing here relatively square. And so whenever he gets that motion in his front legs, this scapula right here is going to move back further. And this saddle is not going to allow any room for that. So it's an absolutely beautiful saddle, super well made, handmade, even has the real um, crocodile leather. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful saddle, um, but unfortunately, it's just not gonna work for my horse. So I just wanna chime in here real quick and remind everybody that every piece of horse equipment is made for a specific job and a specific thing. So let's say this saddle is made, so one day you could dally off on the horn and you're gonna really pull on that saddle. Well, if it's a saddle that's sitting high up off the horse's back, you're gonna have no leverage and it's not gonna be able to hold the cow. So a saddle like this is made to sit close to the horse like that. So it maybe, like I said, maybe to some people it would fit, but I'm looking for as much shoulder mobility as I can get from my horse and this is just a little bit too snug but there might be other instances where the snugness is a part of the mechanics of the equipment and you need it to be snug just wanted to plug that in but for argument's sake let's put it on with the pad and still see what it feels like underneath okay so here's the saddle with a pad this is the CSI pad round skirt let's take a look at it Looking all right. Now this pad has an insert right here. And for this insert to act properly, this saddle actually needs to be a little bit further back on this insert, but I'm out of room. I can't go any further back. So if I were to get this saddle, my pad's not gonna work with it. Let's check how much room do I have for shoulder relief. All right, so if I stick my hand under here, I can get my hand under a little bit more but again, it just still feels really snug. And then it tapers out, tapers out pretty nice there. But right up in here, right up in there, it's really, really tight. I'm just checking out some other things here. This feels better definitely with the pad underneath all right same thing let's look at it from this angle 
It's level, I like that. There's a little bit more room here, but I think I'd like to feel more for my horse. So I hope you all learned a little something about saddle fitting today. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Somebody might say the saddle fits just fine. Somebody might say, oh my gosh, it fits so horrible. Somebody, you know, everybody's got different opinions and things to say, but my instincts are just telling me right now, especially since my horse has some trouble with some restricted shoulder movement, I really don't want these shoulders to be affected in a way that's gonna make them go back into restriction and have trouble striding out. So, um, you know, I'm gonna be a little bit more picky. Also, um, I love this saddle and this saddle is a really great working saddle. If you had to go get some work done, this is the kind of saddle you would use. And, um, you know, it might be sitting on the horse and it might need to be more snug to get that work done. But for what I'm looking for right now, just not totally what I'm after. But so this saddle is for sale. If you are curious to know more information about this saddle, I am happy to give you the guy's number. Um, just send me a message and I can get that to you. So I hope that visual for saddle fitting was helpful and that you learned a couple things today. If I were to take this same saddle and maybe try it on next year with a different amount of knowledge than I have right now, might have some different things to say, might comment on a couple different things. But for now, these are my comments. Super awesome, well-made saddle. Just not totally sitting on my horse's back and giving him the shoulder relief that I would like him to have. So. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I can do my best to answer them. And if you are interested in this saddle, um, please just send me a message and I'll get you the guy's number. Thanks for watching.